All right, so we're doing um, getting rid of those seat mounts, the old seat mounts for the new seats. Uh, I'm gonna start with that. I, long story short, with that, the fuel cell, they put their prices up an extra hundred bucks. So it's like five hundred some dollars for a fuel cell, which is pretty stupid because I had to cut it and shorten it anyway. So, uh, high grade three mil aluminium sheet. $136 and I can put baffles in it which the other one didn't have so fucking winner I had to modify the other one anyway so winning with that one um, I'm gonna get to drilling those out with my special uh, spot weld drill bit see how they're so flat all right I'll get to it all right first seat Mounted. She in there. Um, we were gonna use the Sparco mounts, but um, they, because you know I'm so fucking tall, that they put me too close to the roll bar. So um, there's about that much room for my head. And once I put the helmet on, um, now it's about that far. Where before it just touch which is shit, but it happened. So, um, all it means is the seats aren't adjustable. They're just, they're just in there. So, it's where they sit. So, um, like, you know, it's a fairly tucked away cage and everything, but it just, I'm fucking six foot one. So, Not the shortest of person, and this is, well, a Toyota 86, so it is very short in the roof area. Um, it's always been a problem with these. They're a bit short. Now I'm going to work on to this left one. So, uh, oh, yeah, with the other side. So we took the two mounts off. Um, took this pad, um, this padding off. That fucking noise deadening, fucking strength thing, bullshit, whatever they want to fucking call it. Took that off on the other side. Um, that seat. So it's not bolted down properly, it's just like sort of bolted to the, the floor pan. So um, once we take it to back to the workshop or something, I'll uh, run some strips of metal underneath and strengthen it up so it doesn't, just so it doesn't, yeah, fuck us over <laughs> and fall apart or whatever. Well, it's not gonna fall apart, but just the floor is very flexible. I'm um, gonna get this one done and then might work on the pedals. Or actually, no, I don't. I need a weld shit for the pedals, so I'll see how far we get after that. All right. So um, both the seats are mounted, bolted in. Um, I put the gearbox brace on that um, that we made up a while ago. So so I can fit my fingers through there, so that's enough for like a gearbox tunnel. It's going to be tight, but. That's why I had to get skinny seats. Um, so it's up against the roll bar here, so I can't get my finger in there at all. Like it's actually squashed the fabric. That's how tight I made it. Um, so I could get as much room over there as I could. Um, get, again, we had to bolt it to the floor because like, this one's even closer to the roll bar. Like even though, you know, you can't see the roll bar. It's up here, but... Um, yeah, you smack your head on it. So, um, I've got it jacked up. We're gonna take the spare front wheels off the rear, and I'm gonna put those conversion hubs on. Um, and it's just gonna sit up here until the new rims arrive. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get that done, and oh, I'll have to drill out the new holes and the rotor and everything, so. Solid. All right, so got it all apart. Um, so we still have the factory park brake, because um, why not? You can always have three, three brakes on the rear. <laughs> all right, um, so yeah, standard aftermarket STI looking fucking like ARP stud thing. So um, yeah. get that on and um, also 
Oh yeah, I gotta put this toe arm on because I had to free the thread up. Uh, so we can put that on while everything's off and she'll be all good. So this is, um, if you've missed it, this is the, uh, fucking help if I point it at it, the, my dual caliper setup. So, um, like 70 passes, not really 70, but been a fair few, massive weaves, welded. Um, so this isn't cast iron, this is cast steel, so you can't actually weld to it. So that is what my um, other set of Toyota brakes bolt to. So they go in there. And then obviously factories over there. So um, yeah, pretty simple and fairly easy and it, it, it works. So golden all right so new and old so um Cusco or Cusco however the fuck you want to say it adjustable toe link factory toe link with cam now these come with um sort of a lockout um eventually I'll weld those to the to the tabs to strengthen them up a bit um so we've got the Cusco bottom arms and hard race. Um, oh fuck, you'd want to call them. We've got standard uppers because I need to build new uppers because of um, when we have to move this cross member. Oh, I can't cut the center out and it has to go up and over because of the, uh, the CV's got to come through where the diff is. So if you look, um, so CV bolts to that flange and that's in the way. So I'm going to cut that. Um, this is just a safety bra uh, brace, <laughs> brace from when we put the diff in. I just haven't, didn't cut it out. So um, that diff, that is um, oh, an AO1A or an AO2A, I forget. It's like fucking um, uh, Supra, Sora, Astina, shit like that. So that's that one. Um, wow, this camera is really fucking up with this glare and it's making shit look weird. Um, so, <clears throat> haven't finished this because of um, I gotta notch this out a bit more and then put a half moon and brace uh, welded in and everything. Um, and also cover that hole. You gotta do that. So, just upper and bottom and, and then the two plates that hold because it's solid mounted. It's got aluminium bushes in the front. So, um, yeah, just got to cut that center out for the, for the CVs to come through, but that's later on. And, um, yeah, I'll get back to putting this shit together and work out what the fuck I'm doing with those holes. And then I'll get on to the other side. All right, so both sides are now done. So the rear of our 86 is now 5 by 114.3. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do something about nuts too because i got the extended fucking extended ARP studs and it's quite a bit different there. I just have to get new nuts, no big deal. Um, yeah. So rear is done for now until I do something about those rotors and the new wheels arrive. So those... Those beautiful things can um, go sit over on the shelf until we break one. Um, yeah, and I will probably mock up the the tilt and pedal boxes under here, and um, sort of see what we got to play with and get a bit of a game plan. So when we actually go to mount them up, I know what I'm know what I'll be doing. So um, yeah, I'm going to get onto that and update you later. Alright, so um, sort of ditched the idea with the pedals, the pedal box. So I sort of held them up there, but yeah, as I said before, there's no, no real point because I can't uh, fabricate the brackets here. Um, so I cut up the Sparco box that the seats came in and just sort of quickly 
made um, this uh, this box. What I was uh, the, to the dimensions. I was going to make the fuel cell. So um, fits quite nicely. So it's going to sort of be level with the top of. The, I don't know how well you're seeing this because I'm hunched over, but it'll be level with the boot top, and then sort of you know you got that much. Well, sort of that much room. Um, between there, you've got a bit of room side to side, and it sort of goes to there, so it's just just up of where the the frame K frame is. Um, it is going to have the drop down section in the middle, so where the fucking um, uh, she hang on. Ah, that's better. All right, so it's going to have a sort of drop-down section. Of this side will be flat, but it'll taper down that way because the hoses are going to come out out between the diff and everything for the fuel. So the fuel lines will be down the bottom. That way, um, sort of has its own little swell pot, keeps all the fuel in there when you're drifting, and um, there's going to be baffles in there, of course. Um, got a fuel sender unit so much fuel and um, 45 degree billet um, filler on its way um, so so now I know that's gonna be a good size well I knew it was, I just wanted to make sure but um, a little bit dusty but um, yeah that's the three mil aluminium sheet and I can um, start cutting that up and tigging that but it's sort of getting a little bit late today. And um, probably that's going to be it. So it, that'll be it for today. Um, I'll see you guys uh, next week.